Now then folks, I'm back for the third and final vlog I'm going to put out today. Uh, although technically it's uh, early hours of the next day. So maybe it's the first vlog of a new day. I'll let you guys decide. I'm uh, I'm far too tired to, to think in that level of detail. But I've just finished watching Day 14's film. And Day 14 was to watch your favourite film from your least favourite genre. Now my least favourite genre in film is westerns. Um, I don't necessarily dislike them all but it's just not my go-to genre if that makes sense I wouldn't sort of think you know to sort of unwind or to um, sort of have a bit of a you know sort of an adrenaline rush you know I wouldn't think let's go put a western on it, it just just wouldn't be my go-to my go-to's are things like thrillers and sci-fi and action and that sort of thing um, so I wouldn't wouldn't normally seek out a western but the the challenge was to pick my favourite of that genre, and when I was looking at it, the the first one that came to mind, and therefore the one that I, I decided that I would go with because it was sort of my gut reaction, as has been the case with a lot of these, was Clint Eastwood's return to Western films in 1992 with Unforgiven. I've always enjoyed this film, um, but there was just something about this particular rewatch that really... I don't know, re just just really opened my eyes to it. I've really had a great time watching this this evening. Um, it was, you know, sort of just... I, I can't really put into words, but it was just... It's heartbreaking, it was sublime, the storytelling is superb. The acting from Clint Eastwood, Morgan Freeman, Gene Hackman, Richard Harris, you know, all absolutely fantastic shifts put in. And uh, for anybody who doesn't know, the basic story is that Eastwood plays um, retired assassin William Money, who's lured out of retirement um, when a thousand pound bounty is placed on the heads of two cowboys that uh, attacked uh, a girl in a, in a brothel at the uh, at the start of the film. And uh, Gene Hackman is sort of the the antagonist of the film, if you like. I wouldn't go so far as to call him the villain, but um, well, I suppose he is, he is the villain of the film. But it's all sort of everybody's really grey in this. There's sort of there's who you're supposed to root for and who who you're not supposed to root for. But but really, when you boil it down to um, you know what what the characters are, are about and the the lives that they've led, they're all pretty deplorable people, apart from the the poor young girls that just happen to be uh, to be working in this brothel. Um, but yeah, Gene Hackman plays Little Bill, who's the local sheriff, and like I say, the the antagonist, the villain of this piece, and um, it it plays out just like pretty much any any western does. Really, you'd you know you'd expect um, all, all the all the sort of the tropes are there. They're wonderfully done, uh, but they're all there, and you know it's the hero out for one last ride, and sort of you know coming into a town where he's not welcome, and the shootout in the saloon. It's it's all there, but it's just beautifully shot. I was thinking when I was watching this that you know more or less every frame could be a you know a, a framed picture, and the the opening shots um, and the closing shots where the title cards come up with uh, with William Money's house and the tree that his wife's buried under, absolutely gorgeous way to start and end a film. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this, and I think for the for the time of night that it is, and the fact that I'm I'm quite tired after a long day and a long week, I'm really probably not articulating it all that well but that's not what this series is about it's about my roar and sort of uncensored thoughts coming out of it but I had a great time with this and if you've not seen it in a long while or not seen it full stop I would thoroughly recommend going to watch it uh readily available on dvd and blu-ray and I'm sure you can stream it somewhere if that's your thing as well but you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what you think of this film you'll also have to let me know what's your least favorite genre of film and then what's your favorite film within that genre I'd really love to hear that. I'd be interesting to see sort of, uh, you know, some different opinions on this and sort of see what, uh, what you know, what different people think. So, yeah, do that. Leave me those comments down below. Drop me a thumbs up on the video if you uh, have enjoyed it. And if you're coming across me for the first time, please think about subscribing. Uh, and that way I get to keep you around for future videos and help my channel to grow as well, which would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you tomorrow for Day 15's film, which is a film that breaks your heart when you watch it. There's a few that I have in contention for this, but I think I know which way I'm leaning. So I will see you tomorrow uh, for that film when I've decided which one to watch.